Hello and welcome to more crafts. Today we are going to complete this cute little treat box that is made with the Stampin' Up! envelope punch board as well as a piece of four and a half by four and a half inch designer series paper. Now the nice thing about our designer series paper is they, they are two-sided and it comes with a design on each side. So this is an easy box made with this, made in this size. We can also make a box like this with our fancy topper tag punch. And that's something that we can do um, later. And I wanted to show you another item that we made with this, also the same designer series paper. All right, so let's get started. So to make this cute treat box, which does fit Hershey Nuggets, we just need a piece of four and a half inch by four and a half inch designer series paper. So let's go ahead and take out our Stampin' Up! paper trimmer and cut our paper to four and a half inches by four and a half inches. So the nice thing about the paper is that it's double sided and our trimmer has a scoring tool as well as a cutting tool. And make sure that you save your scraps. So that's four and a half inches, you can see it right there, by going to turn it and trim it at four and a half inches. The paper is six inches by six inches when it comes in our sets. Okay, so four and a half by four and a half. Now I'm going to use this side because I think that it is easier to see when I score. Perhaps this side is easier. So all we're going to do is line this up with our punch board at the number one. So that is the very first line. You may have a different type of punch board, but either way, you're going to line it up with the number one. And we're going to first punch. We're going to pull out our scoring tool that is with the punch board. And we're going to score right along that line. Okay, next we're gonna slide it over to the number three. So this is number three on our punch board line and we're going to punch again and we're going to score. Now that's the only numbers we're going to use. Okay, so I want to make sure you can see those score lines right there. I'm going to turn my paper and line up this notch with my score lines. First I'll line it up with that that line right there which was the three inch mark and I'm going to punch again and score. Okay now I'm going to slide it over to that first score line, line it up with a notch, I'm going to punch and score. Okay and I'm going to do that on all four sides. You can You can see these score lines here. So I'm going to find those, line it up, punch, and score. Okay, now the nice thing about these punch boards is that they, they are easily aligned, but then there's also a, a, a rounder, a corner rounder at the other end here, and we're going to use that in a moment. Okay, let's just turn, line up our score line, punch, and score, line it up with the other score line, punch and score. Okay, so now I'm going to have a paper with two, two lines that are narrower tabs and then two that are wider, okay? And the box is going to fold this way, okay? But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the corner rounder and round out the corners of all of the tabs. Okay, and then I'm going to move out my punch board because I don't need it anymore. Make sure I'm putting back my scoring tool. And I'm going to take my bone folder and burnish all of these score lines. Burnish is just a fancy way of saying go ahead and crease those score lines. Makes everything nice and crisp. Now, I do have to cut, so I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! snips and make 
cuts in the in the paper. These are the Stampin' Up Snips. These are great scissors. They make it very easy to make nice straight lines. So I'm going to cut one, two. Okay, this is along the thick, okay, the thick side is down. I'm holding my thinner tabs across. I'm going to cut just up and up. And then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to cut up and up. I'm going to take, I can use my tear and tape, which is the Stampin' Up! tear and tape. I'm going to put it on each of those four spots. Okay, this is the tear and tape, which I really do like, but I'm going to also show you we have our Stampin' Seal tape, which is very convenient to use and it gives a really nice hold. And all you do is, oh, I'm going to make sure that it's, make sure I've got some in there tip for you when you're using this stamp and seal is that you want to scrape and boop, and it's a little flick of the wrist. Okay, so where I use my tearing tool, I'm going to use also this Stampin' Up! scraper to pull off the tape and that way I can make sure my finger oils do not get on the tape. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is take now those I'm holding it with the thinner side. I'm going to fold these up where I cut. I'm going to fold it in. Okay, let's get in the camera. So I'm folding, let's do that again. I've got these four and I've got glue on each of these four pieces. I'm going to fold those up. Okay, remember this is my thin side. I'm going to push them in. I've got tape on them, so I'm going to just go ahead and stick them together. Okay, and there's your box. Okay, and there is the box. You fold in the edges. And now I'm going to take my punch tool and actually, let me, I put a nugget in there. So let me take that out and get my punch tool. And this is a great tool. It's got three different punch options. It has a corner rounder as well. And I'm just going to use this part, which has the punch and punch a little edge in there. Oh, perhaps I should have done that before I started way I can line it up is just put them in, punch, and punch. I've got that cute little punch at the top and I'm just going to do the other side. I could have done this first I suppose when I had it all together but it lines up right with the edge. And just punch and now I can take my ribbon which I do have a really cute ribbon, which is Stampin' Up. I'll just cut that. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to slide it through. Put it through the center. And then you attach the ribbon. You have your cute little box. I'll probably trim that up. Now, what I did on this one is I used the stamper the for you, which is from the Elegantly Said stamp set. And this is a really nice stamp set. It has a lot of different sentiments and some small ones, which are perfect for this project. And oftentimes I will make just several of them. As you can see, I t on this one I did the, I used my punch that is state shaped like a different shape and I could, but I've also used it with the circle. So I might just go ahead and pop that actually. Yes, let's go ahead and pop that on here with a dimensional. And Stampin' Up! makes these great dimensionals that you can, so 
So I'll just take this sentiment, which is the for you, the for you sentiment, and it's from the elegantly said stamp set, which is real cute. Oh, there's a great this glare. So let's just go pop this sentiment in the middle and we'll use our dimensional. Um, just peel off the backing and well, maybe not in the middle. Maybe I'm going to put it more on the side. There that is, and we can go ahead and wrap our Hershey Nugget in our one inch by three and a quarter inch piece of paper and pop two of those in there and we have a really nice little treat box. And so there are those. These are great little treat boxes for um, any occasion. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And you can find me at my website, stampinwithsarcasm.com. Have a great day. Happy crafting.